Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Borzy, and it is time for another tier list, but not just any tier list. This is an unreleased mouse tier list. I'm going to be ranking mice that do not exist yet, but are either announced or just in the works for some time soon. We're going to be ranking them all the way from super excited down to meh. And yeah, I mean, unless you are the most devout gaming mouse follower, there should be at least one or two of these mice that you haven't heard of. So it's a good way to like stay up to date with what is coming out in the near future. And as always with the tier list in honor of the 12 unreleased mice I'm going to be ranking, I all I ask for is 12 likes and 12 new subscribers from this video. But yeah, enough jabbering, going to get right into it with the Rocket Burst Pro Air. This was announced, um, I actually covered this in a video. I'm going to put this in the meh tier because it just seems like a downgrade compared to the original Burst Pro. It's heavier, it has the same sensor, and it doesn't really offer any new features. If Rocket really wanted to be up to date, they would have made this lighter mouse and put in a 3395 sensor, I feel, uh, because it's not at a budget price point either, like the wired version, so I don't know, it's just a mouse that doesn't interest me. It'll be fine for a lot of people if you like the shape, don't mind heavier mice, I'm sure. Next up, we have these uh, Vancer mice. I don't even know the names because these kind of just recently got announced. I pulled up the announcement tweet. As you can see, the naming scheme is really weird. The SID M1 and the SID N1 for the symmetrical and the ergo shape. At the moment, they're still just renders and there is not a hard date attached to release. Um, but the specs, just based on the sensor and the weight, they, it does seem promising. It's going to be Vancer's second mouse. They have the Gretza, which is, in my opinion, a Starlight clone. But yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to this one for sure. I think I put it in the A tier, um, especially the fact that they're coming out with two shapes. Um, hopefully those launch at the same time and within 2022. Um, next up is going to be the Razer Viper V2 Pro. I, and I am super excited for this one, let me tell you. Uh, it just seems like the perfect version of the Viper Ultimate. And no joke, one of the earlier videos on my channel is called Why the Razer Viper Sucks. Um, every mouse review YouTuber has lied to you. And in this video, I basically just complain that the Viper Ultimate, I complain about the side grips and the fact that there are side buttons on both sides. And Razer just went ahead and listened to me, removed both of those. And I would say they super lightified the Viper Ultimate. So I'm not sure exactly when this is set to come out, but probably... Um, sometime in spring and yeah it's going to be I think below 60 grams and the Viper ultimate shape just without the side grips and side buttons. It may even have updated internals as well so I think out of all of the mice on this list the Viper V2 Pro has the highest chance um, to potentially like dethrone the super light so super excited for that as I said. Next up the XM2W wow we're going back to the super excited tier. Uh, made a video about this a few weeks ago when it was announced the same shape as the xm1 um, so we're seeing this a lot with a few mice just like the make everything wireless craze it's almost coming to the end almost every mouse has turned from wired to wireless but some companies go above and beyond in that transition like endgame gear where they actually improve the mouse and don't just like pump it out in wireless form they're using a 3395 sensor and they've dropped the weight from 70 grams on the wired version down to what they claim is 63. We'll obviously see if there's a bit of variance when it releases, uh, but regardless, it's very impressive and I'm just looking forward to it. It's the same shape, um, but basically all of the internals are revised and supposed to be better. Next up, we have the HSK Plus by G Wolves and honestly, this G Wolves could get a video of their own. They are working on so many projects, but not selling anything. Since the last time I talked about G Wolves, they've still only been producing the Hottie S wireless. Uh, but the HSK Plus, that's looking to be their next like true release. It's a fingertip only mouse, but it has two side buttons, and I believe it weighs under 40 grams. There is currently one review of the HSK Plus, and it was done by Good Enough Tech Reviews, um, so you guys can check that out if you want info on it. Uh, but there is a sample, and even in his video, he's like, he doesn't know when they're going to sell it. So it's always it's always a funny situation with G-Wolves. Um, so I'm going to put it in B tier, because I don't know, I don't see it being a mouse that really gets mass-produced and um, sold for an affordable price for what it is. So it's going to be a niche item. Probably a bit on the expensive side, and I don't know, it's just I'm not going crazy over a fingertip mouse. 
Uh, hopefully they release that uh, Metal Mouse that they have had in the works for a while, but who knows about that one. Next up, we have the Lethal Gaming Gear Mouse, uh, which I'm going to throw out. It could be even in the super excited tier. The LA-1 is basically a claw grip mouse, and it's a bit crazy for me personally to see Lethal Gaming Gear just go from a retailer um, to making their own mouse pads, mouse skates, and now a mouse, which seems like just a crazy leap. Um, but yeah, they're going to have a 3395 there, aiming for below 60 grams with a solid shell. I'll play this video. I'm just showing off the shape from a few angles because it's a claw grip shape similar to something like the Z813 and the XM1. They do go into great detail about the shape on their website, so if you just want to read through those, um, like pretty good descriptions. But it's hard to really describe a sh shape of a mouse that you like don't have in your hand, so that's why I haven't been talking about shape too much. Um, but definitely looking forward to the LA-1, it seems like. I mean, I know from working with Lethal Gaming Gear that they're not going to cheap out and sell trash in really any way. Um, so I'm looking forward to that one, definitely. The Extrify M42 Wireless. Um, I would say definitely more excited than the Burst Pro Air. Um, yeah, this could go in the B tier, honestly. It's the M42, but wireless, 3370 sensor. The M42 and MZ1 wireless are not Extrify's first wireless mice, so we kind of know what to expect. At least in my case, I was satisfied with the performance on the M4 wireless. Um, they do have the very holy designs, um, but the MZ1 wireless, coming in at $120 for a mouse with a 3370 sensor, Rocket Jump Ninja is eating good, that is all I'm going to say, weighing in at 61 grams, that's a pretty good weight um, for wireless, I'm not going to lie, I'm just really looking forward to the MZ1 wireless, like obviously it's overpriced, but I'm buying it, that's not going to stop me, you can't stop me from supporting Rocket Jump Ninja, um, that's what I say, that one has to go in the absolute highest tier, but M42 wireless, I feel like in terms of wireless ambi mice, um, there are plenty of good ones. It doesn't really move the mark, but it's going to be a solid mouse for sure. Um, another one that's going to go in the A tier is going to be, is this the Pulsar Ambi or the Pulsar Sim? I don't know. Looks like it is called the Symmetrical, and this is really all the info that is available at the moment. But what I just realized is that there are two shapes. There's going to be a medium and a mini, and at least one of them is going to be below 50 grams, which is crazy to see. Looks like they're confirming the 3395 sensor as well and coming out in summer 2022. So those are something definitely to look forward to from Pulsar because the X-Lite, no matter how good they make it, I just still don't like that their only mouse was an ergo shape. So clearly now they are changing that and making an ambi that is supposedly delightfully comfortable, which is what we want to see. Um, next up, there is the Final Mouse Starlight Pro with TEDs. And it seems like I've been in the Final Mouse Discord, like, scrounging, is that even a word for info? And it seems like it's changing every day. Nobody knows exactly what this mouse is going to entail, but at least a different shape is what I think is on the table. And of course, all of the uh, pro hardware features, um, which are just going to be better wireless technology based on what I've been told and what I know. Uh, but I don't know, I could just be talking out of my ass. But something with Final Mouse in tens is confirmed for the summer, at least as far as I know. Um, so looking forward to that, but not too much concrete info on it. Just wanted to include tens for the clicks, if I'm being completely honest. Um, this is definitely not the Logitech G502X+. Plus. Definitely not that. And then last but not least, as always, we have the Atom Palm Hydrogen. This mouse is a classic um, because it is never going to release. No joke, it has been in this coming soon phase for what feels like at least two years now. And at the time when it was announced and I first heard about it, it was just crazy top of the line. Seemed like it was going to be the mouse to beat performance-wise, but as it's continually delayed, more mice released that seem to catch up with it. And it's just hard to be super excited over it at this point. But yeah, 45 grams. It's a palm grip shape. That was the real point of it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it, but it's a shame. It's a shame that it's not released yet. And who even knows the price if it were to release? Um, but yeah, that's going to be all for this unreleased mouse tier list. Don't really take the tiers too seriously. Anything above A is a mouse that I think could potentially get the seal of approval. Take the rankings with a grain 
grain of salt and also some of the info I gave could either straight up be wrong or just subject to change since these are unreleased products. Um, but I just thought it would be a somewhat fun video and very educating and informative. Um, so that's all for this video, really. Like the video if you like the video, you know what I'm saying. And um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos in the future. Uh, that's going to be all. Like and sub. Hopefully the mouse market heats up soon. Peace.